This book is the first modern critical biography of Luis de Molina in any language, and the first Molina biography of any significant length ever written. Well known for his doctrine of God's middle knowledge, Molina is presently receiving tremendous attention from theologians and philosophers of religion, especially evangelicals. And you can see that in the articles in the Journal of the Evangelical Theological Society and Philosophia Christi. Despite this fact, few know much, if anything, beyond the basic details of Molina's deeply inspirational life, a life which is just as edifying as the lives of Luther and Calvin. This is because the story of Molina's life has lay buried in 16th century primary sources, many of which remain in manuscript form. I am well versed in these sources, and therefore it's my ambition to bring to light the full story of Molina's life and theology for the first time. Readers will be especially drawn to three features of the book. First, the book places Molina's development of his theological system in its religio-historical context. Like Erasmus, Molina chose to work for reform from within the Roman Catholic Church, but interacted significantly with the thought of Luther and Calvin. Molina therefore aimed to enhance the sovereignty of God by harmonizing it with libertarian human freedom. Molina felt that a god who can providentially plan a world down to the last detail by working through free creaturely decisions is superior to a god who can only carry out his providential plan if creatures lack libertarian freedom and if he, in turn, pre-moves their wills toward his foreordained ends. Second reason I think the book is very important is that it eliminates common misconceptions about Molina, such as his full concurrence with the later system of Jacob Arminius. Molina's conception of the doctrine of middle knowledge and the implications of that doctrine vary in considerable degree from what Arminius did with the doctrine. So, Molina and Arminius's views on Romans 9 are radically different. Third, the book investigates the vision that Molina has for a just society, and this encompasses views of morality, national law, and economic ethics, which, with which I think a wide variety of Christian thinkers from a broad political spectrum would agree with. So this book will significantly advance the conversation about Molina's doctrines of middle knowledge, predestination, human freedom, and begin brand new conversations on Molina's life story, on Molina's biblical exegesis, and on Molina's practical theology.